You get rope burns all the time. <laughs> Depending on what um, piece of equipment you work on. If you're working on trapeze, you get them really across there and then across there. Whereas you can see the angle, the angle of the rope, the rope cuts across my hand like that. If you're on a double show day and you think, how am I going to get through that second show? It's really, really, really physically tough. And you know that you're going to do things where you risk your life your physical injury, the danger, and you think, have I got enough energy to get me through that? That's, I think that's probably one of the hardest things. But, I'm, yeah, I'm still passionate about it. I still enjoy it. <laughs> so originally, it wasn't circus that drew me into this. In this play, they wanted me to climb a rope, and a friend said, oh, I'll teach you how to climb a rope. And then that took me into circus, and then I found a love for circus after that, really. No Fit State always has, um, comes at it from a theatrical angle. How can we combine this live music with this, this act, or, you know, can we put a story into this? And... Kill Bill was quite an influence on, on the director for this and she wanted ordinary people but there's something superhero about them. So we've squeezed two hours into an hour and a half and that physically is so hard to do, you know, without, without losing anything from the show. So that's the biggest change we've made. Um, but always from the beginning, the director had this, you see this big metal round structure behind us. The idea was to bring this on tour with, with us, which was a bit of the roundhouse, or the stylings of the roundhouse in our tent. And then the thing in the centre, which is the four king poles, uh, and the cupola is a bit of our tent. So we've always had a bit of the roundhouse with us in the tent, and now we're in the roundhouse, we've got a bit of the tent with us. You might see those tricks in other circuses, but it's the approach that you take. It's kind of uh, how you get into that trick, how you get out of it, and, and what sort of, what you bring to it as an individual performer, what makes it different. It's just a City of Angels, I really, really like to do. It's quite a simple routine, it's not, and you can have lots of contact with the audience as well. So you can look at people while you're doing the moves because they're not technically that difficult. Which is great, I really like that. And the cargo net, just for sheer fun. The only serious injury I've ever had was I, I broke my finger. After doing the, the last trick of my solo routine, I um, caught this finger. The, the rope is counterweighted. My weight is going down in one direction really, really, really fast, and he is pulling the rope out from underneath me with all his weight. And my finger got caught in the rope, but this bit here just spiral fractured. It just exploded. It just went and look, fell into lots of little pieces. They put like a little wire through here and then a plate in there and stick it all back together. You use your hands massively. And um, yeah, it took about six months completely to get, to get back to doing what I, I needed to do. I'll generally come in a bit earlier, preset the things that I need for the show. I just loop it like this because it's quite a soft rope. It hasn't got much um, shape of its own. I just loop it over my arm. So when I come to need it in the show, I stick my arm through it and I've got it and I've got the actual point that I need to clip on. I can get really easily, really quickly. Then I'll do a warm up and then we have. Um, a vocal warm-up, which, which is kind of the, bringing the company together. We call it Ocala, which is the song we sing in the show. And then we have the technical notes for the show. So if there's anybody injured who is not doing something, then we work out how we're going to cover that. Um, if there's anything that people needed to say about the last show, then that all comes out then. It's a big audience tonight, so try and be on it. Uh, have a good one. And then we um, get ready, get changed, uh, have a shower, get into costume and start the pre-show, which is kind of about 20 minutes before the actual show where we 
I sit on this thing and um, we get to meet the audience. So to kind of devise a costume that looks good and also gives me the freedom to movement and it's not going to get caught in any way is, is a really difficult thing and they've just sort of solved it as we've got to the roundhouse. The director didn't want to the top look as though it was tucked in. So it's got this kind of flat bit that goes over the top of the trousers, but the, still, the whole thing is still sewn together so it won't ride up. So when my arms go up, it stays where it is. But it is actually, there's no stretch in the material, so it, it does get, if I go all the way over there, then it's quite restricted. It tends to tear around here. The, the costume I wear at the beginning of the show is quite, quite mad, something I would not wear in real life. Puts you in a different state. It's not, um, it's not what you would wear, so it does make you feel extraordinary. I have a permanent home in Bristol, and then uh, for the six months of the year, we're generally on tour, which is going to be a bit longer this year. Uh, I live in the caravan. It's really nice. I mean, it's small, but it, it has pretty much everything I need. Um, it would be nice to have a bath. I have to fetch my own water every day. And also the dirty water I, I use, I have to empty your dirty water. This is my answer to, to a bath in a, in a lot of ways. I use a spiky ball to release the tension in muscles. It's, um, it's my own space, which is really nice. When you're living in a community and you're kind of very close to each other all the time, you need, you need your own space and that's what my caravan is. It's mine. What do I do to relax? Um, uh, listen to music, um, play quite a lot of video games. I'm a massive video game fanatic. Um, um, read. Um, Drink lots of tea and also, yeah, just kind of chat as well, you know. Thank you. Cheers. One of the things I really like about it is the community. Perfect. It's, um, it's a great community. Yeah. It's a group of people that, that get on really, really well. You travel together, you live together, you eat together. How many have you sold then? This whole aspect of it, which is the site, is the, is the living with the circus, which is something that No Fit State has kept from the traditional side of circus. And a lot of contemporary circuses don't do that. You know, people live in hotels and they go and do the shows. It's nice somebody from the Roundhouse said to us the other day that it's great, they've had this circus festival on, but they're saying, finally, now we're here, it feels like the circus has finally arrived. You know, it's like we're camping in their car park, so... Yeah. Yeah, we, we all get on, we do. I mean, there, is, there are arguments and there are tensions, of course. I mean, it's a bit like the Big Brother house at times. You know, you've got, it's a closed group of people and you can't get away because this work has to be done. And so, yeah, there, there are arguments and tensions, but it's a really good group of people. I've done some amazing gigs. Uh, I did the Raw Variety Show one year, which was amazing. And the, the Asian Games as well, which was fantastic, you know, getting to travel all over the world. But this, coming to this venue, with, uh, with this show, is, um, is pretty fantastic. It's really, really nice.